Welcome. In this video, we are talking cracking hashes. So, lab files are going to be pulled from GitHub, and we're going to be using two main applications, Hash Identifier and Hashcat, to be cracking our different hash values. So let's go ahead and let's jump into our Kali machine and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get logged into our Kali. All right, so first thing we want to do is download our lab files from GitHub. Go to Firefox, go to Google. Going to go ahead and do GitHub, my name. So we are doing ethical hacking. We're doing password uh, cracking. So we have three four uh, files we're going to be working with today. So go ahead and copy the path, open up a new tab, and let's go ahead and look for down git github. It should be down git. What we're looking for is a way to download all the files in bulk. I want to go ahead and save the files, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and open the files. I actually want to go ahead and just copy all of them to my desktop. And close out of everything. Alright, so now that we have our files, I want to be working with this hash file first. So, we have five hash files and they all look to be a little different. The first one and the fourth and fifth one look similar. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to identify what these hashes are first. So I'm going to open up a new tab. And I'm going to go ahead and open up hash tab dent. Oh, I totally misspelled that. So it will load up our hash identifier. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at these one at a time. You have to make sure to copy the entire thing. So possible hashes, an MD5, or possibly an MD4. The next one, that looks to be a, like a SHA-1. The next one, that looks to be a SHA-256. This one looks to be a MD5. And then the last one is possibly a MD5 as well. So we've identified MD5, 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 SHA-1, SHA-256. So now that we know what they are, we have to start looking at how we can break them. So first things first, I'm gonna do this See if I can find a way to do it online. So open up Firefox. I want to go to crackstation.com. Nope, sorry, crackstation.net. Paste in my uh, hashes. Verify I'm not a robot. Taxi, taxi, taxi. So I can crack one of them. The first one is an MD5 hash and it is compliance. The rest of them are not known hashes. So even though we identified these two as possible MD5, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are MD5. Every variation of a hash are not always as simple to break. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to go through an MD5 
group of hashes. These are all MD5 hashes that I know are MD5 hashes. I'm going to try to crack them online first. Boats, boats, boats. And all of these are good MD5, and all of them are able to be found. So, again, we can use online crackers, and this works for a lot of our hashes, but it's not going to work for all of them. So what we can do is we can try to use an offline program to try to crack them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to crack the MD5 hashes TAC2. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Hashcat. So password attacks, Hashcat. You're going to notice that it will load an entire long list. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Hashcat. We're going to do attack M0 because we are using zero is MD5. Zero is an MD5 raw hash. We're doing a TAC A0 because we are doing possible dictionary attack. We're going to be giving it our location for our hashes. And I'm going to be giving a word list. Hitting enter, letting it try. So it found a few of them, but it doesn't always list all of them. Sometimes we need to do a include attack tac show, and it will display all of the hashes it found. So this is a simple way to do our MD5. Again, this is not an exhaustive list of all of them, but this is definitely a way for us to get started in cracking our hashes. So this has been a brief overview of how to crack hashes. If you have any questions or concerns, reach out. Thank you.